In my mind, there's only one question to ask when we break down the Jaguars and the Colts for Sunday's NFL action. And that question, how bad are the Jags? We're talking about a team that's 0-4 this season, 0-9 in Trevor Lawrence's last nine starts dating back to last year, and yet the betting markets have installed the Jags. Now three-point favorites. They're taking money against Indy this week. Why? Let's talk about it. Teddy Covers from wagertalk.com with a big game breakdown. Colts and Jags. Look at the Wager Talk live odd screen. It's been bet up to three right now uh, for Jacksonville. Total sitting at 46 uh, as we speak. And before I break down the game, I want to let you guys know about a great special offer. This week only at wagertalk.com, we're giving away a seven-day all-access pass for 77 bucks. If you want to get a taste of what we do, you want to get a weekend, you know, get a week. You get playoff baseball, college football, NFL. We are running pretty good this last week. We'll see if we can keep it going. But you can take advantage of me or any other of the cappers at wagertalk.com. Again, seven days, all access, 77 bucks. Don't buy a play, buy a package, all 5% included in that. And there's no promo code needed. Just visit the website, my page, wt.buzz backslash tc, or the website is wagertalk.com. Let's talk Jags and Colts. And real simple, all right? It's hard for this better right now to be excited about laying points with Jacksonville. All right. They were gifted a TD on the first drive last week. Well, really, it was the second drive because they went three and away. They punted on the first drive. I think Houston muffed the punt. <laughs> and the Jags got a cheap touchdown. And they scored 13 points the rest of the game. They had 10 the previous week against Buffalo, a game where they showed a lot of quit. They had 13 the week before against Tampa Bay. They had zero in the second half, week one against Miami. This is a broken offense. This is not an offense that is clicking on all cylinders, not by any stretch of the imagination. Houston had a 26 to 17 first down edge last week. They outgained the Jags by 120 yards. They outgained them by a full yard per play. Doug Peterson's seat as hot as any in the NFL. And they're riddled with injuries right now. You know, uh, Devin Lloyd's hurt. Uh, Josh Hines Allen's hurt. Tyson Campbell. Royce Dale Okuna still on IR. You know, Jacksonville's point margin through four games, they're minus 49. Only Carolina is worse. They're 0-9 their last regular season games. Nobody's worse. And yet, every set of power rating, the Jags are mediocre in the middle of the pack. That's not where I have Jacksonville ranked right now, but the markets do. Now, Indy's lost their last 10 trips, I believe, 10 trips in a row to Jacksonville. It's been a long time since they've won there, which gives them extra motivation here. Okay? And I know they're banged up. I really don't care who starts at QB, if it's Anthony Richardson or not. Doesn't matter to me. Doesn't matter to me if Jonathan Taylor plays. Jonathan Taylor's not worth even a half point to the point spread. What matters to me is that Indy's the better of these two teams right now. They're playing with confidence. And their run defense, which got gashed the first two weeks. All right? I mean, absolutely gashed. Shane Steichen said we're going to work on it. And they worked on it. And the last two weeks, that defense has been a heck of a lot better than it was early in the season. So, bottom line for me. I can't lay with the Jags. I understand Jacksonville spot. Oh, they're at home. Their home's not worth fielding. Their home field's not worth anything. And their spots have all lost. Give me Indy plus the points on Sunday in Jacksonville. And there's your big game breakdown. I appreciate all the likes. I appreciate what do we have? 175,000 of you have now subscribed to the Way to Talk YouTube channel, which is a number that blows me away. If you haven't done so, do it now. And of course, the comments below. Tell me what you think. Best of luck with all your bets this week. And thanks for watching Wager Talk TV.